Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you an integration that will upgrade how you handle your media on WordPress. Ever felt the hassle of downloading files from a shared OneDrive account and then uploading them to your WP site? Well, worry no more. This WP Media Folder plugin integration links your OneDrive storage to your WordPress media folder, allowing you to sync files with just a single click. Plus, you can organize and manage your files using folders from both WordPress and OneDrive. You can also directly insert media from your OneDrive folder into your page's content, saving you a lot of time. So, today, I'll walk you through setting up Nextcloud as your WordPress media library. Let's dive right into it without any delay. Before we start using the OneDrive integration, we need to link our OneDrive account to our WordPress site. To do this, go to the Settings section in WordPress and click on WP Media Folder. Then, move to the Cloud tab and select the OneDrive option. Choose the Automatic Connection option, which will save you the trouble of creating your own app on the developer console. Once you've selected that, look for the Connect button in the top corner of the tab. Click on it, follow the steps, set any access limitations, and log into your OneDrive account. Once you've completed these steps, we're ready to go. Remember, this is the easy automatic connector. If you have a OneDrive account, you can also create your own application and enter your credentials here. You'll have the option to choose between OneDrive private and public media link types. This determines the default link used when you insert cloud media on a page. A public link generates an accessible link for your file, while a private link keeps the file link hidden. Let's move on to the next part and explore the media library with the OneDrive connection. Hey there! Now that you've linked your OneDrive account to your WordPress site, take a peek at your media library, it's got a new addition. Alongside the regular media folder on WordPress, you'll spot a shiny new section labeled OneDrive. Check it out, I've already tinkered around and set up some folders with media. This means your WordPress media library now taps into your next cloud storage. This grants you direct control to manage, shift, upload, and organize files right within WordPress. A fresh root folder sets up shop in your OneDrive storage, keeping everything synced with this part of your WordPress media library. For instance, tweak a folder's name or color, or craft a subfolder by right-clicking on a folder and hitting New Folder. Or, use this button up here to swiftly create a new folder right where you are. Let's try relocating the folder we made earlier into another folder. Just click, drag, and drop it where you want. Easy peasy, right? Now, let's upload an image to this folder. It's as simple as adding a file to the WordPress media library. Hit the upload button, pick your files, and let them fly. Voila! Your file's up there, visible in your OneDrive folder. And here's a neat trick, using the right-click menu on a folder media refreshes the content. You can also import media from OneDrive to your WordPress media using the right-click menu on a media file. I'll catch you in the next part where we'll dig into how OneDrive synchronization operates. Let's jump into the next phase and explore using OneDrive media in your WordPress public content. Here's another fantastic feature of the WP Media Folder plugin. When you link your OneDrive account to your WordPress site, it's not just about accessing your OneDrive files. You also get to manage and organize them directly on both platforms. Let me demonstrate. I've just made a new folder and popped a file into it on OneDrive. Let's switch to my WordPress Media tab and head to my OneDrive Media folder. See that? The folder and file I added to OneDrive are right here. It's like a seamless sync between Nextcloud and WordPress, they're totally in tune. And the same goes for uploading stuff on WordPress, it gets synchronized with OneDrive almost instantly. Cool, right? Now that you've mastered connecting your OneDrive storage to the WordPress media library, you might be wondering if you can actually use that media in your WordPress content, like on a page. Well, the answer's a resounding yes. Check it out, let's head over to my page, built using Elementor. I'll find the image widget, drag it into place, and select a media file from my OneDrive stash that I added earlier. See how seamlessly it displays? Smooth as butter. 
You can also use it with other widget like Slide, Video Player, or with another page builder like Bakery or Gutenberg. Let's take a closer look at the WP Media folder settings. This feature allows you to adjust your media access settings, giving you control over who can access media on your WordPress site. You can divide media by user or user role, which means that when other users upload their files, they get their own personal media folder within the WP Media Library. This keeps their media separate from yours, making it easier for you to organize and manage your files. This feature is particularly useful when you have multiple editors on WordPress. Additionally, there's a Display All Media in User Folder setting that you can enable or disable. If you enable it, media files uploaded by other users will be synced into your folder. If you disable it, you'll only see your own media files. To wrap things up, let's look at the pricing for the plugin. There are many WordPress plugins integration with their respective content blocks, widgets or modules, whatever their names are. Also, and that's more interesting, there are many clouds integration, meaning that you can host your images on those systems, whether it's for performance purpose or just for the storage offered. In fact, there's performance connectors like Amazon S3 or DigitalOcean in storage integration like Google Drive or OneDrive. This plugin is available at $49 with all the features we've just tested in this video. All the cloud integrations and gallery features will require the $69 membership. And that's for an unlimited number of websites, no domain limitation, no support limitation. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any questions using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've discussed in the description. Have a productive day, bye.